Well, it's about what, 6.30 or 7, 7 in the morning here in Texas. Um, got up early because I'm not working today. I work usually, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Anyway, um, I've been thinking a lot about this video, what I should say, and what I should focus on, what would be important to talk about. And I guess at this point, what my focus is, um, there's two things, about the Lord Jesus Christ, and also my business as far as silver. So, I've been watching a lot of stuff about um, the New World Order, what's going on with uh, Alex Jones and Jay Snip, he's good, and uh, uh, John F. Silver. Good, good people. Good, interesting stuff. And I think about um, my background, which is much different than a lot of people, because I've had experiences that most people wouldn't. And um, I guess what I was thinking about this morning was all this stuff with Ron Paul. I know that Christians. I feel really outraged about what's going on in the world, and I, I was too. Um, I still am. I remember when I got saved in '82, that uh, we were so optimistic about, um, as far as Christians, with the Moral Majority and uh, Ronald Reagan and and uh, especially James Dobson. It seemed, just it seemed like the Christian world was just really expanding. Uh, There's huge emphasis on um, against abortion and there's a, a lot of hope that um, Roe versus Wade was going to get overturned um, which was totally dashed by uh, George W. Bush's dad um, George Sr. Um, when he appointed David Souter to the Supreme Court um, it seems like we've We've gotten disappointed so many times by politicians and uh, uh, working on the local level, working um, in Colorado with uh, Pat Miller, with uh, Mark Pascal, different people, Marilyn Musgrove, and seeing how that got destroyed uh, with people like Bill Owens. They promised, they, they appeared like they're conservative, but they really weren't. Um, so we have to be wise uh, what's happened with Ron Paul I admire what he's done I admire what he stands for he's totally right about the Federal Reserve uh, and he's he's the one that really woke everybody up to that in a lot of ways um, he's human like we are I'm not I'm not condemning him I admire what he does so I don't know him as a person. Um, I admire him for sticking his neck out. He could be killed any time. Um, because these these people... And what I really admire, what's interesting too, is um, Alex Jones has really exposed this Bilderberg group. Um, I remember in the early 80s, people talking about the Bilderberg and just getting ridiculed and oh that's just conspiracy here that's just ridiculous and it's just you see the documents from the 70s and the 60s and you go oh my gosh they're right on so kudos to Alex Jones for exposing all that um, so I'm interested in the silver market I expected to explode up here pretty soon uh, they're talking the gold to a silver ratio is 51 and I'm, if it goes to 1 to 1 that would be just uh, I don't know I don't want to see the economy go just totally disaster my my vision my hope is to see the gospel spread see people come to Christ and 
The problem is these are the powers that are holding people back, the media, the politicians, the uh, financial elite. They're holding people captive. And Jesus said, um, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. So we need to tell the truth. I want to tell the truth. I'm a fallible human. I don't... I don't um, not perfect, but uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not responsible to my kids, to this country, to people here, to uh, everybody. Because everybody's going to have to stand before Jesus in a judgment seat, judgment throne. Um, that's what's going to really matter. Thank you. Bye.